Do you guys see my dog? He's so cute. He's licking the bed. Hey! You wanna say hi? <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Kelly and welcome to Kayla Creates. So today I am back under the sea. So today I'm turning myself into a nudibranch. Um, nudibranchs are one of my favorite species, or not even species, they're like their own family. They are absolutely insane. So they are basically their own family. Um, it's kind of confusing as you go up um, because there's difference between different types of sea slugs and nudibranchs. Um, but these guys are just super, super cool. They're so varied. There's so many of them. They're so bright and beautiful. This one specifically has like arms, like kind of like limbs, but not all of them do. Um, they're just such cool animals and I'm so excited that I finally get to talk about them. Um, I'm excited that I get to use this platform to talk more about animals that people might not know much about. Um, so I'm hoping to throw these animals in along with some animals that I know very well. Um, but that being said, um, I'm going to leave the uh, time code down below if you don't want to listen to all the education and you can jump right into the makeup. So this little guy that I have on my eyes, he is a uh, nudibranch, but his scientific name is Glaucus Atlantis and there are tons of common names for them. So they are Sea Swallow, Blue Angel, uh, Blue Glaucus, which is part of their... Um, uh, scientific name, uh, Blue Dragon, which is my favorite one, uh, Blue Sea Slug, Blue Ocean Sea Slug, um, but they are a type of really tiny little sea slug that are in the ocean. These specific ones are pelagic, which means that they live in the water. They don't just live on the bottom, which is really cool because a lot of other nudibranchs do live on the bottom. So these guys also use counter shading like many of the other animals that I've been talking about, but it's kind of sideways. So they will turn on their sides and on their back to really blend into that water column. So that's why they have all those blues and whites so that they're able to break up that water and really blend in. So these guys are kind of badass as well. So they like to eat things that sting. So they will eat man of war jellies, um, which are not technically a uh, jelly, uh, but they will eat other, um, other animals that have stinging cells, but they won't just eat those stinging cells, they will eat them and then bring them into their own bodies so that they are still able to sting anything that comes near them. So they eat this and they also use it as protection. So it's similar to a poison dart frog, but they don't make this poison all on their own. Um, they, they take it from other animals, they take it from what they eat, um, and they use it for their own personal gain. So these specific uh, nudibranchs, they are found in the Pacific Ocean, um, but there's rumors that they can be found in the Atlantic as well. It just has not been completely proven yet. Um, they have been found all over near Australia and over by South Africa, and they can also be found out in California. So these guys don't necessarily swim on their own like other nudibranchs. They mostly use the water to move them. So they have a relatively lazy life, but that's also how they're able to easily run into the animals that they're going to be eating. And they will eat things that are larger than them as well. They can use small swimming motions using those little limbs that they have. They don't have any bones, so they're not able to really move them like our limbs, but they can use them to move just a little bit. So these guys not only use that sting that they are eating, they can also amplify it. So they are going to store those toxins from the man of war and from the other jellies in little sacks out on the edges of these little feather-like protrusions. And that because they store them, they can make a sting that is even deadlier than a uh, man of war. More deadly? So nudibranchs are not male or female when they are born. They are born with both parts in their bodies. So they need to kind of fight with each other to see who's gonna be the male, who's gonna be the female. So whoever whoever loses is the female. So this is only because it is a lot, it, it, it uses a lot more energy to raise, uh, to create those eggs rather than it is just to fertilize those eggs, if that makes sense. So the loser of the battle is the female and she's the one who lays the eggs. 
Um, and then they move on and they have to decide who the female is all over again. So these animals uh, are actually very, very, very small. So they are even smaller than what I have on my eyes. So they can be about three centimeters or about not even an inch and a half. So they're really only gonna be this big at max. So even that picture that's on my eye is larger than they would be found underwater. Um, they do not have necessarily a jaw, but they do have a radula. These are gastropods, kind of like a uh, octopus or a snail or a regular slug. So they have what's called a radula. So usually that is just a tongue that has a lot of protrusions on it to rip things. But this one specifically has a radula that's separated into teeth, razor sharp teeth. So this thing is completely badass, even though it is only this big. So unfortunately, even though these animals are super badass, they are endangered. Um, and one of the main reasons beca uh, is because of the pet trade. So because these animals are so beautiful, people want to own them. But they are not very good pets. Um, they are very small, which people don't really realize. And they are nudibranchs. Nudibranchs have very sensitive skin, so they are very, very sensitive to different um, temperatures and different toxins that might be in the water. So this is why they're also being uh, affected by pollution and by ocean acidification. Um, so they are unf unfortunately endangered, but hopefully we can get them back just by spreading the word. They are important. They don't make good pets. And they're the type of animal that, yeah, they're really cool to look up pictures, but they might not be good to handle out of the water. So um, that being said, I think these are super, super cool animals. I'm so excited to be talking about them. And now I can't wait to show you how I got this look. So I hope that you guys enjoyed the education part of this video. And I hope that you guys have fun watching the rest. So if you wanna see how I got this look, just follow along. Okay, so I already have my eyebrows done. I already have my eyelids all set. Um, so I'm just gonna be jumping right into the actual nudibranch eye look. Um, something is up with my camera and for some reason it's not writing as long to my memory cards. So I am going to be filming for a little bit shorter of a video today. Plus, you guys have seen me do my eyebrows, my eyelids, my face makeup so many times. You don't need to see that again. So. That being said, um, today I'm going to be using uh, face paint rather than makeup for the white for this nudibranch. Uh, so this is my uh, Mayron Paradise makeup. So it is this. It's just white. Um, it's just water activated paint. I've been having a lot of issues with all of that white eyeliner, so I am just skipping away from it. Uh, so I'm going to be laying that white with uh, this paint. Um, I have a little tiny IT Cosmetics brush that I'm going to be using for the most part. and then I'm going to set this all into place with my um, setting powder. This is just the one from Mayron as well um, to make sure that I'm not gonna move this paint around <laughs> while I'm <laughs> messing with it. Which I do have to say, this is drying way easier than eyeliner did. It just looks like snowflakes right now. And then I am going to be using my James Charles palette as usual. Um, I'm gonna be using this shade all the way down here. It's a darker blue. Um, this is the shade Cola. And I'm gonna be t using a tiny little eyeliner brush to add in those blue details. This took a long time. <laughs> I'm hoping that you guys can see it 
well on camera. Um, it looks really cool in person, um, but then on my iPad that I can see my screen, um, you can't see it quite as well. Uh, I don't know. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and do my face makeup um, because I'm also gonna do some of this underneath my eyes. So I will be right back looking a little bit different. All right, I know I have foundation lips. I know, I'm sorry. Um, but I really just wanted to show you guys what highlighter I'm using just because it's a little bit different than my normal base routine. Um, I'm gonna be using my Aurora um, ABH Glow Kit. Uh, and I'm gonna be using this shade down here, my Orion shade, so it's blue. So I love this palette and it was like a big thing for a little while to have like crazy colored highlighters. And I just like really like my highlighters. So I use whatever chance I can. I really don't understand what's going on with my camera because suddenly I have another 30 minutes of filming. Even though I shouldn't. I had 30 minutes 30 minutes ago. <sighs> Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and copy what I have up here and put it underneath my eyes as well. Um, using the same paint, same eyeshadow. going to um, I guess set my face first before I put on any lips or anything like that so I'm using my NYX bear with me um, prime set refresh spray um, I love this stuff it just feels good it just feels good on my face so for my lips today I'm using my um, manicadar beauty simplified lip locked priming gloss stain. Um, this is the, sh the shade Sienna. Um, I've only really used this one other time, but I really like this brand. It is completely vegan and cruelty free. Um, so I thought it would be a good time to use it. My lips are so dry. It's finally winter here in North Carolina. It was in the 30s yesterday. It's in the 40s today. My lips just can't keep up. I'm using so much chapstick. I'm exfoliating. I'm using lip treatments and they just can't keep up. So I'm sorry that they look all crusty. So I'm gonna do mascara just on the top of my eyes, but not do any falsies. Um, this is the Tarte Big Ego Mascara. All right, all right. So that is the final look. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited with how this turned out. Um, oh my god! Um, but actually this look that I did today is a collaboration between a couple of girls that I um, hang out with online. This is a collaboration with Express Yourself Crystal. She is a super talented artist. Um, she actually turns herself into like celebrities and stuff. Um, but all of us this month are turning ourselves into different nudibranch. Uh, creations. Take a look at my Instagram. Um, I will have it in my locked stories if this video is coming out after the collaboration, which I'm trying to make it do. Um, but yeah, this is also in collaboration with Support Force. This is my Discord community. Um, I'm really not, I was never one to hang out with people from online, but these people have quickly become some of my best friends. Um, so if you want a group of people that's super genuine, super nice, and really just wants to boost your creativity and your brand, if you're a streamer, if you are a makeup artist, if you are a gamer, we have everything. Um, we're all just kind of hanging out together. So you can join that at supportforce.co. Um, and I hope to see you there. Tell them that Kayla brought you. I hope you guys have a wonderful day wherever you are, and I hope to see you guys again next time.